Hey you guys, it's Cody here, and this is a quick tutorial on how you can make sounds, especially ambient sounds, loopable. So I'm gonna start off with one that's pretty simple and then we'll move on to something a bit more um, advanced. If you have a track like this uh, that you want to make loopable and it's not loopable already, first of all, you can check if it's loopable by clicking on your track you can copy with control C and paste with control V if you're on Windows, and you can uh, put them together like this, and you can check to see whether they loop or not. So here's the unaltered track, and it does not loop correctly. Okay, so you can hear that big jump there. Okay, if we back up a little further, listen again. So it's very sudden, it's very abrupt, it's not been created to loop, and that's perfectly fine because we're gonna be able to loop it. So what we wanna do is, again, we already have this copied, um, but we can paste it down here onto a separate track. And this is where the magic happens. We're gonna ba uh, bake in a crossfade. It doesn't really matter at what point we do this. Uh, if you have a heavy drum beat, it that will matter. But if it's more ambient, it's really not even gonna matter. Basically what you wanna do is you wanna overhang the end of the track with the start of the track, like this. Then you want to delete everything up to the end of the first track like so. And now, what you want to do is you want it to be smooth. So to create that crossfade, you're going to take the first track and you're just going to select this portion here. And you're going to go to effect, fading, fade out. You're going to grab this and you're going to do the opposite. You're going to go to fading and you're going to fade it in. So you're fading out this portion of the track and fading this portion in. Now for the most important part. Okay, this is just for timing. We're going to take this little nub here on the second track we're going to copy it and we're going to paste it. We're going to move it right to the beginning. Make sure you don't move it past the beginning, but move it right to the beginning. We are only using this for timing. So here, now we're going to select both of these and delete them. You'll notice that this doesn't move. That's okay. Drag it down like so. We are now going to Control A to select everything, track, mix, mix, and render. And you just created a perfectly looping track. You can test it by simply pasting another one of your tracks on here and butting them up against one another. And if we make this a bit bigger and zoom in, you can see in the waveform that it you know looks coherent. Um, it looks like it loops, and if we want to test it, let's give it a listen. Pretty much seamless. If for some reason you don't like the exact timing, uh, you can you know pick a, a, a different portion to loop, but there's no abrupt jarring end and beginning. It just loops. And so let's try it with another track now. Oh, and by the way, when you go to export, of course you don't need it twice. So just delete this, and now you can export your wave or whatever format you're using. And again, it will be perfectly loopable. Um, let's do a different track here. If you've already got the information you need, then congratulations, thanks. You can like and subscribe or leave a comment. But if you want something, let's do something a little more complicated. I'm gonna open up this tribal beat track. Now this does have a kind of drum beat it's still sort of ambient um, but this is going to be more difficult so again you will not have to do this um, but i'm going to bring this volume way down because i'm about to mix and render these so okay so let's give a listen to our track here first of all Okay, so it's a very tribal Amazonian rainforest, um, and again, it has a drum beat. So that's going to make this a little more difficult, uh, just because we want to get a good crossfade that makes sense. We're going to copy, we're going to paste to a new track. I'm going to zoom out a little bit here. And this is where we don't need to be super precise um, for most tracks unless you're really doing music. Again, this needs to be more ambient. Um, for the most part. Um, but what we basically want to do is just kind of zoom in and get our drum beats roughly aligned. Now I've already found with this track that it doesn't really have a steady beat per minute, which is going to be challenging, but we can sort of see that this drum beat and this drum beat, or these big peaks here, 
whatever it is, they're, they're kind of roughly lined up. And again, we can experiment with where exactly we want to do this. Um, this looks pretty good here. See how this peak and this peak line up? And you can see it a little better maybe if I make it a little bigger. Let's make both tracks just a little bit bigger here. And so we've got this peak and this peak, this peak and this peak, and they're, they're kind of lined up, right? So once you get something that you think maybe will sound good, go ahead and give it a listen as it is. Now it's going to sound a little jarring because you're not fading in and out, but just go ahead and give it a listen. Okay, obviously it is still very jarring, but you can see that the drum beats are roughly lined up where they need to be. So same process here is delete the end of this second track, right? Or delete everything on the end up to the end of the first track. Then we want to take this here and this is a simple fade in and this portion will be a fade out. So effect fading, fade out. And <clears throat> um, if we wanted to preview it, actually, let me show you if, if you're not sure if it's going to sound good or not, don't delete this part yet. You can do the fade in and the fade out. Grab this portion. Oop, make sure we're being precise here. So you can affect fade out and then we'll do our fade in here. And this is just if you want to give it a test listen, which is you know not a bad idea. Or you can do a little bit of trial and error. So now we have our crossfade and our transition. Let's listen to it. Okay, so you can hear there that again, basically, you know, it's 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 basically loopable. I mean, if somebody was not listening um, for that crossfade, I I don't think they would know that it was happening. Um, so we take the end piece here. I uh, zoomed out a little too far. Take the end piece here and bring it to the beginning, and this is only for timing. So this portion here, we want to lop off of the beginning. So we just delete that. So we're going to have like a hard start at the beginning, but don't worry, it's going to be okay. <laughs> it's going to sound good. Line this up, control A, we're going to go tracks, mix, mix and render. And then if we did everything correctly, we should be able to copy and paste this and we can test our loop. So let's just go to the beginning so we can see where things begin. All right, so that's where it starts, and then we can see here how it loops. And there you go. That's with something more complex and complicated. Uh, if you have any questions, drop them down in the comments. I hope this little tutorial was helpful for somebody out there who's looking to loop their audio. Thanks, you guys.